So you combine that with his age and the fact that Aaron Rodgers just did get a big new contract. And by the way, all he has to do is just play like Aaron Rodgers. And the fact that Drew Brees still got it and is on a, a better team on paper. No, I don't think Brady is in MVP contention this season. Well, thank God you argued that. I thought I was going to have to write a third entry here into the list of contradictions today. Let you argue on both sides of the table because you're right. I you have can't, no contradictions. You can't, oh, yeah. Well, you, I think you're on every just 20 minutes. Just keep saying you're it. On you every hope it's make it true. It's just every 20 minutes. That's all. Just every 20 <laughs> minutes. The other, other ensuing 19 minutes, it goes unnoticed. That, look. Uh, you, of course, you can't say he's in contention for the MVP when you say he's going to go over a cliff on week one. He's, it's a hell of a statement, by the way, about the reigning. I don't even like defending. I like reigning MVP of the NFL. He's going to be in champion. He's to get hurt. <laughs> and yet you come out here and you say you're going to be one that appreciates the full magnitude of his accomplishment. You undercut him every sure, step of the way, but you're going to claim the crown of Tom Brady champion should he play out play the competition in week one of the NFL. Let, let me explain you something. Clearly. It's true. There are some truths in what you say. You know, I mean, it's not you're not completely void of oh. the ability. To say. Oh, but, but, oh. No, no, I don't think you are completely. Tony, contradiction, I anyone? Know. Oh, my God, I'm writing this down for you. Don't worry. Uh, con <laughs> you have the ability to see truth and utter it on occasion. It doesn't add up to a conclusion that's ever right. Uh, you get a few things right. The point is this. <laughs> the point is this. Tom Brady, you're right, doesn't have weapons, at least not more than Tom, uh, Rob Gronkowski, and at least for the first four weeks of the season, because he does get Edelman back, right? I mean, at some point, Edelman does no, come back to the not. team. What are you, now you're poo-pooing Edelman, too? I don't like him either. No, no, uh, I'm saying eventually he gets Edelman back, and, and he has a good thing with that. Yeah, I don't want to fight about that, because the more important thing is Tom Brady's won MVPs and Super Bowl trophies without weapons in the past. This idea that somehow it's going to undercut, completely derail his MVP hopes because he doesn't have weapons, I give you, I don't know, the entire body of his career. He's never been a guy that's needed big-time wide receivers. He's never been a guy that's had big, famous running backs. They've constantly shuttled players mm -hmm. in and out. The truth of the matter is, he, throughout his career, has had uh, lesser weapons than Aaron Rodgers has. You talk consistently about what Aaron Rodgers does as a one-man team. Tom Brady had a season with Randy Moss. Where's his, where's his Jordy Nelson? Where, 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 he, he doesn't have the guys that, 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 that Rodgers had. So not having weapons is not going to be some big detriment, some big cliff-driving derailment to his MVP candidacy. He, he is the single straw that stirs the drink. He will be an MVP, MVP contention again. He has become, to his credit, and not unlike other quarterbacks who were great and got even better somehow as the cliff approached. The reason it's a cliff is because they cruise at this incredibly yeah, high right, altitude right, right. and then fall off. But, but I have to give Tom Brady credit. He went from game manager big on third down, much like Russell Wilson and other game managers who wind up in the Hall of Fame, play for great coaches, accrue the kind of experience they need, and then operate at a very high level late in their careers. But early in his career, he wasn't the straw that stirred the drink in an obvious way as he's become late in his career. And sure. in fact, until recent years, it was only when he had a crazy offensive weapon surrounded by other real weapons, like Wes Welker was on that team with Randy Moss, that he was an elite numbers kind of quarterback. When he had Randy Moss, they were about to be crowned the greatest team in the history of American team sports. Last you know, year, that was about to what? happen. They went undefeated. He yeah. had an MVP. Last year, yes. He got the MVP last year. He set a Super Bowl record for 500 mm -hmm. yards plus in, a, in, a, in a passing in the Super Bowl. And he but, had and, Gronkowski. And he still yeah, does. And he, yeah. mm -hmm. and he still does. And he, play, and he played catch with Gronkowski, but part of the, uh, the effect. And he still has it. The effectiveness of Gronkowski was he was surrounded by other offensive weapons. Also, you have Deion Lewis. Also, you have other receivers that you have a good connection with and you've been productive with. He's stripped of all of that now at the age of 41, and his offensive just, line is in turmoil. Just to be clear, he's stripped of Deion Lewis, and that's why he's not going to get an MVP this year? That's why he's not in contention? <laughs> And, and like all of his receivers, but yes, sure, and the youngest. <laughs> right, right. I think he's got, I mean, his receivers are not awesome. By the way, that's a landing spot, or should be a landing spot for Dez. Chris Hogan, eventually Julian Absolutely. Edelman. That's a place where Dez could, use, could, be, could be used. But Tom Brady, the point is this, Tom Brady wins with or without these weapons. That's what history shows. Mm -hmm. He has won with and without weapons. Now is a different story.